There are three big categories of the way that a pathologist, a medical oncologist, and surgical oncologist might think about how we treat breast cancer. Every cancer cell may have some flags on the outside of it. These flags help us identify unique features associated with the cancer. The three most common flags that we look at in a pathology report are the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, and the HER2 receptor. The estrogen receptor and the progesterone receptor go pretty much hand in hand because they're related to hormones. And what does that mean? So these receptors, I like to imagine them like little hands on the outside of the cell. They can grab hold of what we call ligands. And these ligands are essentially the hormones that may be circulating in the bloodstream that can then be pulled into this cancer cell and used as a fertilizer, as growth support for the cell. So what this tells us is that if some women have the estrogen receptor or the progesterone receptor on the outside of their cancer cells, it tells us that some component of these cancers needed estrogen, needed that hormone to grow. And that becomes very important for how we think about managing the breast cancer. So the estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor go together as hormones receptors. And then there's the HER2 receptor. The HER2 receptor and the discovery of it has really revolutionized and changed the landscape for how we treat breast cancer. It can be very responsive to what we call targeted antibody therapies. What does that mean? So again, this HER2 receptor sits on the outside of the cell, but there are ways that we can actually block the ability of that HER2 receptor to stimulate the cell from growing. There are drugs like Herceptin and Pertuzumab. These are drugs that people may have heard of before that block the ability of a cancer cell to use that HER2 receptor to grow. Mm -hmm.